Hi, I'm Dave Bricker, and welcome to ActionScript 3. If you started in ActionScript 2, you may notice that there are a few more moving parts, but we'll soon get things sorted out with this visual example. What I'd like to do here is start with something where I have a button named My Button and a movie clip named Rabbit. And the idea, let me test my movie, is that when I click on this button, you see it as it's up, over, and down states, and the rabbit is going to disappear. In ActionScript 3, the button no longer talks directly to the movie clip. We need to add another character. In this case, I'm going to add what's called an event listener. This is a guy who is going to listen for a specific event, actually a piece of code. Uh, he's got his microphone here, and what we want him to do is listen for a click event. If he detects a click event, he's going to gather up information about that event, we may or may not use that information, but what he's then going to do is he's going to give that information to a function. A function is simply a piece of code that accomplishes a task. And we give that function a name so that we can ask it to do something. We call its name, uh, we may or may not give it some information, and it does what it does. So let's get into actually adding the action script code that accomplishes this task. Let's start off by simply making the rabbit disappear. Movie clips have what are called properties. Properties are like properties in English language. Properties are things that you own, things that you have. Um, the rabbit would have, for example, a color. Um, it would have uh, ears. It would have eyes. All of these things are, are its properties. Um, in this case, what we're going to do is treat the rabbit as a movie clip, and it has the same properties as other movie clips. It has an X property, a Y property, an alpha property. And for example, I could say rabbit.alpha equals 0.5. What's going to happen, and put a semicolon at the end of my line, what's going to happen when I test this movie is it's simply going to tell the rabbit to fade. We adjusted the property of a movie clip. Now what we want to do in this particular instance is create a function that does that on command. So I'm going to start out with a comment that explains what the block of code is going to do. Create a function makes the rabbit clip disappear. We start with the function keyword, and I will call this erase rabbit. That's my own name. There's no function in ActionScript called erase rabbit. That's one that I'm creating. This particular function is going to receive an event which I'm going to call EVT. I could call it E. I could call it event. Anything I want. It's simply a name for the package of information that the listener is going to pass to this function. And this function is not going to send back any values. Let me put this in the right place. And I'm going to put in a set of what are called grouping braces. If you've never seen this before, it looks kind of intimidating. But the syntax is always the same. And after you've typed it a few times, you'll memorize it. You'll get used to it. Now all we want to do is look for our rabbit movie clip. If we can't remember what it's called, we can click the crosshairs. There it is. Rabbit, which exists on this timeline, dot visible equals false. All we're going to do is set the visible property of the rabbit to false. Now, let's test the movie. You may notice that nothing happened. Why? Well, we never called the function. So, what we want is to call that function, um, but we want the listener to call the function. Now, I have the button it's called my my button is the, is the instance name of the button and i want to add an event listener to that button my button dot 
add event listener and what I want to do is listen for a mouse event dot click and when I detect the click what I want to do is pass that event to the erase rabbit function which I will copy and paste here let's test our code now we click on my button the rabbit disappears what's actually happened is when I clicked on the button it said this this guy the event listener heard the click he passed this event to this function and the function made the call tell the rabbit to be invisible so let's look at the code one more time we have our button our function the movie clip and the event listener and it really isn't that many lines of code all we have to understand is we've attached the listener to the button the button here's the click calls erase rabbit which is a function that receives that event that package of information that then tells the rabbit to be false.